What's good, y'all? I'm finna show y'all. I'm finna give y'all a little swinging tutorial. But not necessarily a tutorial because there's not much to teach, right? But it kind of just, kind of just like a mindset on how I do things. Quick disclaimer though, you can't swing like me. You know what I'm saying? I can't swing like you. You have to swing like yourself. But take what I say and just apply it to yourself. You feel what I'm saying? Apply it to your own style. Basically what I do, I've had some requests, you know, people saying that they wanted to know how I swing the way I swing because I, I get a lot of height and I have I carry a lot of my momentum. I maintain it very well. So some have asked how I do it and I'm finna show y'all how right now. So Long story short, it's pretty simple. First and foremost, figure out which swing assist is your favorite or which is most suited for you. Me personally, I like level one. There's not much of a difference between two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Ten is, we all know, it's, it's, it holds your hand. It makes swinging extremely easy. Um, one... I use um, because of the momentum zero is its own thing because you could actually hit the ground with that but I don't like it for the simple fact that I've noticed certain animations certain swinging animations Peter will catch the web a certain way and, and have a certain height so he might swing lower depending on the animation that you get and remember the animations are random so you could just be swinging flawlessly through the streets and then you happen to do an animation that goes too low to the ground and you'll just hit the street and ruin, lose all your momentum so i don't even bother i don't even use zero at all i don't waste my time it's pointless because level one in my opinion is superior for the simple fact that it has the same momentum physics as level zero but you can't hit the ground so you have all that momentum and you don't have to worry about hitting the ground that's perfect First of all, let me turn these notifications off. Anyway, let's just get straight to it. So I'm going to just show y'all real quick. Like, what I do, I wouldn't say it's necessarily premeditated, but I know what I'm going to do right before I do it. You feel what I'm saying? I literally become Spider-Man. <laughs> so right now, everything I'm doing right now is a freestyle. I'm not, I didn't plan any of this out. I'm just swinging as I go. You just have to have a flow with what you're doing you feel what i'm saying and i'm carrying the momentum around pretty well right now i lost some of it just now but look it's pretty simple i'm going pretty slow right now to be honest but it's not premeditated i'm just doing what i'm doing all off all off the dome all off the spot like a freestyle it's kind of like if you've ever played any of the older tony hawk games back in the day you would know what i'm talking about it's like uh you know, you do random tricks around a skate park and there's all these things you can do. You can grind on rails, you can glide across a wall, jump off, get off your skateboard. You can do uh, manuals and, you know, a whole bunch of shit. You could actually, it actually has a momentum system where if you go down a ramp fast enough, you can go flying up in the air and you can maintain that. You feel what I'm saying? So, that's basically how I play this. You know, just with Spider-Man mechanics. I hate that so much. Because it takes all my momentum away. But regardless. You see, swinging is pretty simple. That's just a little quick demonstration on how I swing. I just go through. Now I'm going to break it down. Basically, how I carry my momentum so well, I know where the web line is going to go. Therefore, I know how the momentum is going to carry over from swing to swing to swing. If that makes sense. So watch this. Let me, let me find a random spot, right? I'm going to make, you know what? Hold on. I'm going to make my web line hit that building to the left. My web line is going to hit this building right here. You see that? Now I know exactly where the web, like I know exactly where I can go. I know exactly what to do because I know where the web line is going to go. It's not like it's random and... You know, it might throw you off depending on if the web goes the wrong direction and it's like, oh, but yeah, it's pretty simple. That's literally all I do. I just know where the web is going to go. Therefore, I know how to maneuver around the whole city in my, to my liking. Because look, the web is going to go up here on the left. You see this? I can make, I can shoot my web line on this pole on the building. Boom. 
Now I'm gonna make my web line hit the top left corner of this building. You see that? Perfectly exactly where I wanted to. You just have to know where your web line is gonna go and once you know that, you can maneuver as you wish. Right up there, yep. It's very simple, watch. I'm gonna hit the, the side, uh, the top of this building to the right. It's very simple, that's literally all I do, honestly. There's nothing much to it, there's not much to explain, there's not really no... It's not hard, it's very, very easy. <laughs> Anyone can do this, it's just... You just have to know how you swing. You feel what I'm saying? Mix it with the dive, get more momentum, do stuff like this to get some crazy speed. The best way... One of the best ways to, to get momentum in this game is to do the loop-de-loop. -loop. So, I'm gonna do a loop-de-loop -loop right now, get some speed real quick. Watch, I'm gonna go flying. Now I can carry this speed over. I'm gonna swing up here. You see this? And I'm just carrying my momentum. Depending on if you're by a corner, you can even turn with your swing so that it follows, you know? Watch this. I'm gonna get one right here. I already know it. So I can turn here. You see that? It's clean. It's so clean. You just have to... If you're quick enough, you can just look around the streets as you're swinging and know exactly what you're doing, know exactly where you're going to go before you go there. If you watch my, uh, if you've seen any of my swinging videos that I've uploaded on this channel, you'll see that's literally what I do the whole time. Everything I do is not premeditated, it kind of just happens on the spot. You see this? It's just clean momentum swinging to the right. I can't, I, uh, there's honestly not a, a way that I necessarily, um, get my web line to hit where I want it to. I kind of just, I kind of just know how the game works. It shoots webs a certain way. You kind of have to just experiment for yourself and figure out how it works because I can't really... There's not really a way to explain how it works. It just does it on its own. But I know when I know every time it's gonna hit where I want it to. It's gonna hit right here. Oh, you see? I wanted it to hit the left building and hit the right building. Sometimes it's it's kind of off, you know. But if there was a way that you could fully control where your web line goes, that would have been crazy. But we're not advanced, you know. Insomniac isn't built for that. They can get away. I don't care about y'all. Anyways, that's basically it, bro. It's not hard at all. You mix this with your web wings. You can do something like this. Immediately after you do an air jump or an air dash and get some crazy speed off of the web wings. And then you can just close your web wings and keep that momentum. Like I'm doing right now. You can fall with it. Get a nice little, nice little momentum swing right there. Nice little air trick. I like to do this animation a lot because it gives me a lot of height. It gives me a lot of momentum on my swing. This right here. Look at all that height. Certain animations give you more height than some. And thankfully with the trick system, you can control some of the animations that you get. Mix all these things together with the air tunnel. Get some crazy height like so. I'm going to swing up here. Do a little loop-de-loop. I'm gonna make a little turn though. Go over here. I'm gonna swing across that pole. I'm gonna swing across this pole right here. You see, I'm kind of just calling it out. And like normally, I would just be doing this in my head, but I'm calling it out so you guys can get an understanding of what I'm doing. I'm gonna swing right off this building, obviously. Now I'm gonna dive down. Watch. I'm fighting it. I'm I'm plotting. I'm gonna swing right here off this building, just like I wanted to. And see, I can just carry my momentum anywhere I please. So yeah, do, do what you want with this. Take this and just apply it to your own style. Because I, we all swing differently. We all swing individually. We're all Spider-Man in our own way. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? So take what I said. Hit the Just play around with this a little bit. Play around with what I just said and you'll figure it out. But if you enjoyed the video, if this helped you in any way, or if you need any more help, just comment down below. I'll, I'll feel free to comment. I'll always respond, and I don't mind having discussions with y'all boys, man. You feel what I'm saying? So, if you made it this far, appreciate you coming out. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'm out.